Well, hopefully this is a good angle. I did this side earlier with the spraying it in steel wool. So now I'm gonna do this side. I'll give it another spray, but it has been soaking, so I'll spray this side. I'm gonna try it with foil. Either way, if you don't have four zero size steel wool, you can use some aluminum foil and build up. This is not chrome, this is stainless steel. I think this is more vinegar. So let's see if I can't get these deep ones off. Pressing harder with the, uh, oh yeah, it is working nicely. Oh wow. So what looks to be pitted, really, is not pitted. Very happy. pressure. No, that's just a really stubborn spot. Did you ever hear some lot of vinegar? Well, the hydraulic can do work on this. Can you see it? Yeah, so uh, I'm going to get a nice little stainless steel doodad because this is going in my cargo trailer being converted into a camping trailer while still being used as a cargo trailer. So it's going to be really cool by the time I'm done shining up a leather or leather. Darkening up the stitching. Okay, the, that problem spot came off. Right, so it's just going to take some work. The foil is better on the pitted stuff, I think. for beer. This is this is hard work, but it's going to be so worth it. I have to flip it upside down and get get the base where I want to look. Right here. 
anything involved in this. Beautiful. And I'm sure spraying the wall in my shower with vinegar is not gonna hurt a thing. So I'm going to have to turn it upside down to get the top area, but I am really happy with the way this is coming out. A couple of big spots I missed, but as you can see, oops, sorry about that. Aluminum foil and vinegar. I think I love you. Oh, there's still some spots in here, I guess. Alright. Still got a lot of work. Time for a beer! <laughs> 